and welcome to my review of the Charlie Banana Pocket Nappy. The Charlie Banana is a pocket nappy. This is the birth to potty size. They also do a newborn version as well. But I genuinely think this is a real good attempt at actually making a birth to potty nappy that can realistically fit from newborn right up to potty training, as long as your newborn isn't particularly small or premature. It retails in the UK for £22.99 and with that you get the shell and these two insets. Charlie Banana are an American company and the nappies are made in China. They have a smallish range of prints for quite a big brand, it's a fairly small range of prints and some bright block colours as well. The packaging is just a cardboard insert along with the nappy which hopefully is up on the screen. So the first thing you might notice about this nappy straight away is the familiar rise poppers on the front are missing. That's because Charlie Banana have a painted design of adjustable leg elastics, which I can show you more on the inside of, which allows you to tighten and loosen these elastics to make the rise of the nappy to fit your baby. I would say this is a, a good length nappy. We have just gone into the larger of the two medium sizes. There's two larges above that still to fit. Whereas on other nappies, we're on the middle or even completely open. So this will fit tall babies quite well. The outside is made of a nice soft pea roll durable and you've got an array of poppers along the front here so you have a hip stability popper there to stop your wing droop and you've got an overlap on the tab so you can make that waist really nice and snug for newborns and then here these are in what looks like a bit of a haphazard pattern but it's so when you're on the on the really small settings you can pop her like that in fact sometimes when I put this on my baby rather than poppering there and then naturally that would go across like that. Sometimes I'm actually still popping it down like that um, which I just think makes it a little bit more comfortable for him. So it's nice to have that as an option. The leg elastics are nice and strong in the sense that they contain everything really well but they're really soft and don't leave particular sock marks on my baby. The back of the nappy also elasticated out of containment. It's quite a thick band which I quite like rather than something Quite thin which can dig in more so again that is nice and soft on my baby and um, it's a fairly slim fitting nappy obviously it depends what inserts you put in with a pocket but the actual overall shell is nothing to it really and it's quite narrow between the legs which I prefer as well now if we take a closer look inside it's fully fleece lined and the fleece is lovely and soft the pocket opening is at the front rather than the back um, this is something I really dislike about the nappy actually only because when my baby soils his nappy, I tend to use the, the front of the nappy to wipe what I can off him before tackling with a wipe. And you really don't want to do that with this because of this flap here. So I have to remind myself not to do that. That said, it's a really nice wide opening here. But then because the nappy is so narrow between the legs, my hand fits, but my husband does struggle to stuff these because you've got to get past that bit to get the insert all the way to the back. But then if the opening was at the back, you'd have the same problem going forwards. I would kind of like that at the back, ideally. So the leg elastics are adjusted under the flap here. I was going to show you on the video, but they're actually quite fiddly to do. I really like them. I really think this is a fantastic design, actually. But um, it's not something you want to be doing particularly often, and it did take me a while when I adjusted them last time. So it's a bit like a bar strap here, in that you can pull this tighter, and then it shrinks this leg elastic up or you can loosen it so as I said we've just gone on to the second medium there's another medium just there which is what we were on for and then that's a little bit tighter then if I just let that loose there like that um, and then there's two more large settings um, but you don't actually need to go with these markings you could find anywhere along the strip of elastic that suits your baby best and you could even have the, the legs different sizes if, if you so wish to have that as well so I do really like that design. Um, I think it fits babies really well because you can like, adjust it so uniquely and accurately to their size. It also tidies at the front of the nappy because you haven't got the rise poppers, which when you're fully open, does look a little bit messy. So as I mentioned with the nappy, you also get these two inserts. So this one is the small size one, and then you have medium large. So this will be used when you have the nappy in the extra small or the small settings using the adjustable leg elastics. And it's a little bit shorter. And then this one for the medium and large settings. It's a bit longer, so it feels the length of the nappy nicer. The medium large is also a little bit thicker, so it's a bit more absorbent as well. Probably can't see quite see that on the video. 
You could also team the two together to get more absorbency, although that is going to make the nappy a bit bulkier because you've added two inserts, not one. Um, I actually really dislike these inserts because of microfiber. Microfiber is really absorbent and that's great, um, but it sheds microplastics during the wash process, which isn't great, great for the environment. And then also, um, microfiber is really prone to compression leaks. So if your baby is sat or in a carrier or in a pushchair or in a car seat or basically just anything really, um, as soon as you put any pressure on this, it's going to leak fluid back out. So you will always need to pair it with a natural fibre in order to prevent those compression leaks. To be honest, I just bin them off altogether and don't use either of them. And that is my biggest gripe with the snappy. So rather than use the microfiber inserts that comes with the nappy, I like to use a natural fiber instead because it's more absorbent and you don't get the compression leaks. Charlie Banana do sell hemp inserts themselves, but I've not tried them. They're quite expensive for what they are. Um, all my pockets, I use an Muslin's Prefold in instead. This is a newborn size and it's such a great length for pocket nappies. And then because my baby is a super heavy wetter, I also add a hemp insert as well. So for any pocket nappy, I do these the same way. I tip my prefold, and then because I have a boy, I keep this at the front. If I had a girl, I'd do the same, but lay flat in the middle. So I place the hemp, set, hemp insert in to about the halfway line, and then I fold my prefold over like that, and then I flip over the hemp on top to kind of keep it together in a bit of a sandwich. I stuff it in so this side is against the baby, so you've got the cotton, which is the fast absorber, at the top, and then you go through a sort of hemp and cotton sandwich. With most pockets, because they open at the back, I can simply stuff in from the back towards the front like this. Um, with the Charlie Banana pockets, because they open at the front instead, I do find this a bit more tricky to kind of, because it fans open at the back, which really isn't a problem when you're stuffing from the back forwards, but when you're going the other way, this can be quite tricky. So what I tend to do with these is take the hemp out for a minute, push the prefold in, on its own like that and then just try and wiggle the hemp back down in and fold over and that's what I found the easiest way so they are a little bit more faffy to stuff in this manner I guess if you were using their inserts it wouldn't really make any difference you could stuff that in quite easily and if you were using their hemp insert or anything that was kind of an all-in-one insert like that it, it wouldn't be any more difficult but because of the system I use um, which is really cost-effective and super absorbent just just take a little bit longer to stuff so just a little comparison how they look stuffed um this blue one has got just one single um charlie brown and microfiber insert the medium to large one and then this the white one has got my prefold and hemp booster combo in so it is a little bit bulkier more so at the front because of how i've double folded the hemp over the backs kind of negligible really but a little bit bulky at the front but I will get much longer out of this nappy and I won't have to worry about compression leaks. I'm just going to pop the extra booster in this one as well. So finally this nappy is still unchanged it's the prefold and hemp combo that I did before and now the blue one has both of the Charlie Banana microfiber inserts in so the medium large and the small that comes with the nappy. So now you can see that the white one is definitely slimmer than the blue one but more than that the white one is going to be more absorbent and it's going to last longer and you're not going to have to worry about compression leaks. Um, my boy is a heavy wetter so I would definitely need to use both inserts in here so comparing them on the previous screen when we had the one insert kind of isn't really like for like. If your baby isn't a heavy wetter and you probably only have used the one insert in here you could probably ditch the hemp booster out of here and just use a prefold and again I think they would probably be about the same for thickness. Overall, I really quite like the snappy. I purchased the couple that I've got purely for the prints because they're just so cute. But I have been quite impressed with it. I really like the leg elastic design and the way it's adjustable and the lack of rice puffs on the front looks really neat. I think it's really soft. It's very, very nice lining and the leg elastics and the back elastics are really effective but soft on my baby too. And the puffers work well across the front. I do think it's expensive for what it is at £23 and having to change the inserts isn't really ideal. Um, and for that reason, I'm going to give it four stars. If they just came with cotton inserts, this would definitely get five stars from me because I really like it. And the only other negative thing I could find to say was the pocket at the front, which kind of has pros and cons. So, yeah, just a shame about the inserts. But otherwise, it really is a very lovely nappy. 
Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more content.